So just to see an implementation of why we might want to use a, a map class, uh, I like to kind of introduce uh, this idea of openweathermap.org. Uh, um, one of the things you see very quickly is that they have this uh, function that allows me to use an API. Ah, that's pretty nice because as you can see, they allow you to, if I wanted to, des to design some application, maybe a, uh, an Android application or Java you know, desktop application, I could sign up for this. Uh, just here's a shameless plug. Uh, there's no link. I don't think they even do like a, a reference model. So um, openweathermap.org, please pay me. I'm advertising your site. Right. But no, I can sign up, I can get uh, uh, an API key, and that'll allow me to make 60 calls. You know, I can actually connect to their website uh, 60 times in a minute and grab current weather data, well, five-day forecast. Not a 16-day, so, but, you know, that's what you get for literally paying nothing. The intro, the idea, though, is, let's say, for example, I did want to get my uh, current weather data. They happen to have an API, which starts to break down just how I would go about looking into uh, making a call. If, say, for example, I wanted to look up London, UK, uh, I would simply make a request to this URL. And as a result, it would spit out, just to kind of move it for you guys a little bit, it would spit out some JSON implementation. Now, JSON uh, is just one of the very, uh, one of the many uh, implementations of how people present data. But the reason why this is important is, what if I wanted to have some implementation? Now, I've already built it out uh, because that's a lot of stuff to do. So I just went ahead and kind of implemented it for us. But I've imported a few of the I/O classes. That way, I can read the data from the URL uh, from the .NET class, and what do you know? I happen to have that hash map we were just talking about. I did need to use a third-party uh, application. I did need to use Google uh, JSON because I need to convert from JSON to a map uh, because of this. Uh, Java does not have a, a working translator in itself. Java, if you're listening, I would really like a way to just convert JSON into a map. Thank you. Good day. Anyway, so, okay, well, I'm just coming down here. This is literally the command that uh, can convert uh, JSON into a map. So if that's all you're looking for on this video, just take that and you owe me royalties. No. So please don't abuse my 60 uh, API key. Literally, sign up for yourself. But, okay, well, I want to look up Raleigh, North Carolina. I want to know what the current temperature is there. So here's my URL string where I put in my location, simple enough. There's my API key, and because I live in the good old-fashioned United States of America, uh, we like to do everything right with Imperial. Uh, if you're over in the UK, please don't, you know, get hurt, you know. You can change it to metric if you want. You can change it to Kelvin if you want. So anyways, okay, well, I'm building out the string. I, uh, this is just something that I'm using so I can keep on uh, receiving data. I basically create the URL. This is just a string for right now. I open the connection to openweathermap.org and I start reading in uh, all of my results. Whatever their response is, I'm just pulling that in. The thing I want to point out though is that's being read in as a string. So I do have to make that JSON to map conversion, but as you can kind of see, I now have my different maps. As you can see, I have the ability to then uh, come in and do that same git command we were seeing before. Notice my key in this case is no longer a character, but it's a string. Now, for my sake, I am saying an object because this, if we look, is, you know, it's returning that. It's a hideous, hideous thing, so I'm just uh, saying it'll be some object, whatever it is, you know, work with me. And so, in this regard, I see that it, I'm going to get uh, a temp, then I'm going to get the humidity, I'm going to get the speed, and I'm going to get the deg. So, in this case, if I were to come in and spit this out, just I want to kind of get to where there we are. We see what I would be printing out. Java C, uh, dictionary, uh, get request example. Why are you crashing on me? Uh, it does not... Ah! Derp. I always forget to do that. 
give me a moment, dictionary. This is actually why I made a compile uh, as well, is because I need to include that in my source path. So in that case, I make that Java. Add that JSON to my course path, my class path, sorry. Then I can do the dictionary. Now it compiles perfectly fine. We're going to do the exact same thing for running it. Class path, include the current class path, and then the JSON.jar. And then finally the dictionary example class. Once again, we see that I've got my current temperature, I've got my current humidity, wind speeds, and the angle. And once I hit enter, I should see, I'm doing a nice little printout of uh, Wake County, as we can see, Raleigh. Uh, the current temperature here is 85.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity is 58%. Uh, percent. The wind speed is 4.7 miles per hour. And it is blowing at whatever that gets converted to. I didn't sit down and do that on my own. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that.